So what's up? I have not did a fit to fat update in a minute. So much bad stuff has been going on. It's just it's just excuses, I know, but I've been super depressed lately. Don't mind the back round. That's my bed. I know it looks jacked up. But yeah, I'm like doing a spring cleaning in my bedroom, even though it's almost November. But yeah, you know, sometimes you just get the urge to move stuff and redecorate. It's going to be one of those days. And truth, I lost my mailbox key, so I'm trying to find it because, you know, these people want to charge you $25 to uh, get into your mailbox. So, um, <laughs> So much has happened. My god sister had her baby, Cameron. He is so cute. And uh, then he went to the hospital. So we were dealing with that. He came home Wednesday. Today is Friday. So, so he's just a week old week and a half now but yeah <coughs> not to mention a lot of people are getting sick and I think I'm getting sick so I'm trying not to get my son sick because yeah um let's see my boyfriend's little brother passed away his other brothers you know, they have the same dad, but different mom. Their mom passed away. But they're still back in the Bahamas. So it's hard to make contact with them. Mm. My ex-boyfriend in North Carolina, who I'm still cool with. Because, I mean, we just broke up because I moved. Not because we had a bad breakup. I just, I lost my job, so I came back to Tennessee because I knew my boss would hire me right back, and she did, but, you know, that was, that was a few years ago, so, but he had been calling me to tell me, you know, um, he's, the, their house had burned down, and when I say they, I mean him and his mama, because believe, I probably wouldn't, I don't know, I'm not going to get into that, yeah, him and his mama. And um, I remember when I left North Carolina, she had been diagnosed with cancer. And uh, before the house fire, she had just gotten out the hospital because she had another spell, but he said that she was doing better. But I think with the house fire, I don't want to say that she just gave up on life, but I think she was just tired. So she recently passed away a few days ago too, and I know he's dealing with that. And it's funny because I had met her in church before I even knew him. <laughs> so, yeah. <sighs> Me, oh Lord. Bills, 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 bills. Uh, let's see. My car almost got repo, repoed. <laughs> um, if y'all watch my whole little Westlake rant, that'll tell you all about that. Um, they had turned the kill switch on my damn car. Um, my lights had gotten shut off, you know, um, the security job had tried to stiff me on my overtime pay and, uh, causing me to fall behind on some bills. And when I asked them about that, they said, since they outsource their payroll, that if they cut me a separate check, that they would charge me, even though they were the ones who messed up. I don't understand it. So that means I went two weeks without that extra few hundred dollars. 
which would have made a difference in a lot of things, but whatever. But all that stuff is resolved. Um, I got a ticket, which I was trying to pay this morning online, but I guess you only have eight business days from the day that they issue you the ticket to pay it online. And after that, you have to go to court. Now, it doesn't have mandatory mandatory court, which means I could have paid it online, but whatever. I didn't see it. I tried to pay today, but she said they had already pulled it out the system because my court date is on Tuesday coming up next Tuesday. I'll be at work. I'm not calling off of work. You know, holidays are coming up. I need my money. I'm about to be doing mad overtime because... I got a lot of things in the work, a lot of gifts, not a lot of gifts, because I'm only buying a few people gifts. My son, of course, Mr. King Dion, my mommy, my daddy. <laughs> I sound like a little kid when I just said that. Um, Probably a few co-workers. And, you know, I suppose my boyfriend could get a gift. <laughs> so what was I talking about the ticket yes so she said I had to come to court I said I couldn't do it can't miss work but I'll be in I guess Wednesday she said that'd be fine so I hope they don't try to stiff me with the extra bill of not showing up on my court date because the lady said I can come on Wednesday at 9 o'clock and that'd be fine it was only going 5 miles over the speed limit I have my license I don't know how I still have a good driving record, but he said I had a good driving record. Because, you know, if you want to be technical, I'm not going to say he did me a favor because he wrote me a ticket, but he only wrote it for going five miles over the speed limit. You might remember that because I, I think I had that, that deal last time, but what messed me up last time is not only did I have the five miles, but I also have no insurance. I had insurance. <laughs> and what are you yeah, going 60 and 55. He said I was going 80 and a 55, but he only wrote it for five. I think he's full of shit, but whatever. <sighs> My weight has gone up. 279.2. I was almost at the 270s. I know I'm almost in the 280s. Go figure. I've been, school is, I'm not going to talk about school right now. I, I, I love, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like dropping out because as much as I want to get my degree, I feel like the real world is weighing me down. When you are the head of the household, basically, and you're supporting a household, for me, my education falls behind me trying to get my bills paid or me trying to put a roof over my head. I could be in school, but my life is going to be off, which means I can't get on the computer. You know, somebody has to work. And it seems like that person is me. So, I don't know. I just took a break off of school. Um, so, I really don't think I could ask for another break. Uh, I feel like I bombed this class. I'm probably going to have to redo it. Which means I'm probably going to have to pay for it out of pocket. Which means I'm definitely going to have to be working overtime. Which means I'm be too tired to do school. So, ugh. I don't know. I got one more year left. I'm just trying to stick it out. So, um, I guess this is more of a life update. With the, the whole fat to fit thing. I don't feel... I know this is stupid, but I join like these Facebook groups 
to have accountability. And in the beginning, everybody was checking on everybody. But I think what it is, real life caught up with everybody. Everybody has jobs. People get sick. There's deaths. There's other stuff going on. There's children. Um, real life. <laughs> and um, I can't speak for everybody, but it's hard to focus on yourself, on your health goals, or, or take an hour out of your day or whatever to exercise when you have to constantly be worried about other stuff so I don't want to say I'm just giving up on the group but um I guess I maybe want to renew my, my, my promise to the group actually because when I was working out I felt better like now I'm just depressed I've been crying I'm crying right now but it's, it's a rainy day too and um, I feel just sluggish, I'm, I'm tired, I'm irritable, <sighs> I'm just, uh, I'm out of it, so, I don't know, my birthday's not, well, yeah, I guess you can say coming up, my birthday's in March, so that gives me five months, I want to look good for my birthday. I'll be 32. So, maybe this, maybe I'll start like my own little, I don't had a few of these fight the fat things. Yeah. Maybe I'll start like a birthday countdown weight loss journey. Oh, my one year natural hair journey is coming up. I'll be one year completely natural in December when I did the big chop. And I haven't had my hair pressed in a minute. So, um, I'll probably do that. Right now, it's just in the fro. Um, I need to get it braided. I need to do some because it's, 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 it's but uh, I've been rocking the fro to work and not caring. So. But I guess it's just a little, a little, ah, uh, update to the group and to people who are subscribed to my channel. How you doing? And, um, I might be doing a giveaway soon. Actually, yes, I will be doing a giveaway, but that will be in December to celebrate the whole one year natural. And I might just do like a, a holiday Black Friday if I can get some get some stuff, I might, you know, give away a few items for, like, the Christmas holidays, but before, before then, so probably, well, November is a few days away, I don't know, we'll see, it depends on what I can score on Black Friday, because that's the reason why I'm doing overtime, because I plan on getting some stuff, yes, so I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.